Okay guys, we are on our way to Moncton. We just picked up this guy and we've got this guy with us. So let's hit the road. <laughs> of uh, good stuff pulling in here right now so we're gonna walk around and see if we can't find some uh, some stuff to show off so if you're from New Brunswick you know what these cars are if you're not this is a Bricklin and Bricklins were built and assembled right in st. John New Brunswick and generally offered a Ford power plant they weren't terribly successful the provincial government got involved and that's one of the reasons why they failed but nevertheless they are a beauty of a car and I think we'll probably see a few of these here today and what would any car show be without a General Lee replica guys we're walking around here and I see this car that I've never seen before ever in my life and I couldn't even guess what it was so maybe you can guess but based on what it says on the hood or on the uh, engine here, it is Toyota. So I've got the owner here. What's your name? Claude. Claude, yep. tell us a little bit about your car. Uh, it's a 2001 Toyota Crown. I have to uh, leave from Japan. It was imported last year. Um, it was completely stock when I got it. And I did a top mount turbo setup on the budget there. Like whole set HX35, uh, front mount intercooler, full straight three inch exhaust from turbo back. Uh, Auto Couture wheels, uh, three piece, genuine, they're off of Bentley. And um, other than that, everything else is pretty factory. Lace seat covers, it's still auto, hoping to get a manual box in there, but other than that. And I heard you telling somebody else a little earlier that there's not very many of these around? No, no, it's like the only one in the Maritimes there. And um, if there is others, I don't know, but like I don't think they, there is any others. Um, the only other ones I know are either in Ontario, Alberta, or in Vancouver, and around there, those parts. But there's probably maybe like 20 in the country, 20, 30 maybe. They're not like super popular because like a lot of people when they think of uh, Japanese cars, they think of, oh, I'm going to go get like a like that Legacy over there. There's a Legacy that's awesome. But like people are like, oh, okay, that's an import you see every day. This is an import you don't see every day. And it's based off like an Aristo LS400. So like. And that's the best part about it is like I can source parts from like an IS300 to like an Aristo that kind of fit but there's still certain pieces like that lip right there is from Russia of all places. It's a little banged up here and there but like it was the only option I could find for 
and for the most part everything else is Toyota and or Lexus yeah. so it's yep. pretty reasonable fine parts yep. for exactly because yeah. like over in Japan they don't have Lexus per se, I don't think they just have Toyota and Toyota's this is Toyota's idea of like a big luxury saloon car yeah now very unique I appreciate uh, sharing it with us Claude you got a uh, YouTube or oh, Instagram yeah. or anything like that just Instagram Claude.bache so clean on the inside it too. is like and what makes it even more unique is that it's right hand drive and even the radio has Japanese Japanese writer. writing on it sweet ride Shifters made it of a set of torches. That's pretty cool. I don't care who you are, I am a sucker for square body shafts. If you've ever heard of Vaughn Hot Rod, he is a famous hot rod finish piper. Can I get you to say hey guys to the viewers? Hey guys, what's going on? We're in Canada. I'm from Southern California, all the way down, all the way down. Having a great time out here. Come on out, come by, stop by, say hi. Great, thank you sir. Well guys, as a Chevy truck lover, as you know, I can appreciate any model, including this beautiful C10, which I think is probably about a 70, no, it's probably, yeah, 68 to 70. 68, I guess. <laughs> and that paint just glistens off the back of that. Look. Great looking truck. It's sitting just right. And I love the two tone. They're calling it a Texas farm truck. And we've got this awesome example of a 65 Impala. 
As big of a boat as they are, this thing's going to scoot with a big block in it. And again, sitting just perfectly level. Great stance on that. And we got some rat rods here. Some done with the great precision here. I like this. And then we've got some up and comers. And my guess is each one of these was driven here. Little four cylinder. Tight squeeze in there. We could walk through here all day and still not see the same thing twice. There's such detail in every vehicle. Some old and classic and some still new and got lots of life left in them. But I can always appreciate no matter what car it is, I can always appreciate the detail that goes into them. So I'm about ready to lose some battery here guys. I've got all kinds of footage. We're probably going to break this up into two parts, maybe even three. And uh, I'll be sure to get this uploaded as quickly as possible. But for now, guys, I hope you appreciate everything that I had to show you today. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next upload.